Hello, I'm James Posse of Aviation Week. I'm here at the Farnborough Air Show uh, outside the Gulfstream uh, facility on site. And joining me is uh, Derek Zimmerman, who is president of customer support at Gulfstream. Hi, Derek. Morning. So behind us, we have the uh, brand new G800. I think it made its maiden flight uh, just this week over to, the, to, to Farnborough. Mm -hmm. um, how are you ramping up kind of the maintenance and services side of, of the business to, you know, taking into account this new aircraft? Yeah, it's a great question. We're fortunate that uh, with the uh, developmental roadmap that we have for new aircraft, we're able to bring customer support personnel in early in that process. So even though we just flew for the first time internationally this week and really just started flight testing a couple of weeks ago, we've been involved with this program for a number of years already. So we're involved in the development of the aircraft itself and the design process. As we start the flight test program, we have technicians embedded with those programs to learn the aircraft at the same time. Uh, and then we're able to start training well in advance of the entry into service. For the, so we're getting ready for G700 launch right now. We're ramping up our training activity there and we'll follow that on shortly thereafter with the G800. One of the key advantages we have though is that program shares a lot of the same design characteristics mm. as the G700 which will precede it. Mm. And so there'll really be a much smaller learning curve associated mm. with that aircraft um, because we'll already be familiar with a lot of the aircraft systems and we'll essentially have worked on the airframe already. Excellent. Uh, across your kind of wider services network, support network, um, what kind of investments are you making there and how are you sort of, uh, you know, ramping that up? Well, we've been incredibly fortunate to have the strength and stability of our parent company, General Dynamics, for over 20 years now. And their confidence and stewardship has allowed us to make really an unprecedented investment in our aftermarket services. So just over the last 10 years alone, we've invested about $500 million U.S. Mm. in expanded service center capabilities, including the new center here in Farmbro mm. that just opened a couple years ago. Mm. But we've got a new facility that just opened about two weeks ago in Fort Worth, Texas. Mm. We just broke ground in another new facility in Mesa, Arizona. Mm. And we've got a number of new facilities over that last 10 years, about 2 million square feet of additional mm. capacity. And probably more importantly, the workforce that goes along with that has grown as our network has grown and allows us to continue to support our customers. One of the challenges uh, right now, of course, is the issue of skills and labor. It seems to be impacting uh, pretty much every part of the industry. In terms of technical skills, uh, you know, mechanics maybe, uh, are you incurring any challenges there? And, and how are you kind of navigating those challenges? Yeah, it's something that we're always very mindful of. We tend to think internally that the building part is the easy part of expansion, right? It's really all about developing that workforce. So as we've expanded, the first thing we really look for in any location is mm -hmm. how uh, readily available as talent and what can we do and where can we find partners to help us develop mm. that. So all of our base leaders work actively in their community to highlight the visibility of aviation. Just to start with, we reach out to middle schools, high schools, universities, uh, and technical colleges, uh, uh, aircraft technician programs, and just raise the awareness of the careers that we have in aviation. They're highly technical, highly rewarding, highly challenging careers. Mm. Uh, and then beyond that, we recognize that for us, most of the Gulfstream experience either is part of the Gulfstream network already mm. or is part of our family of Gulfstream operators. Mm. So for us, oftentimes, it starting with a newer, less experienced employee. Mm. We have made a tremendous investment in our training capabilities mm. and found partners that we can help bring somebody in that's less experienced mm. or maybe has no experience in aviation. Yep. And we can put them in a position where they are competent and confident and safe. We've got a tremendous investment in on-the-job training. We've got a specific facility yep. in Savannah that helps us do that. We can bring you in for classroom training. We can put you in a lab environment where you can simulate and practice many of the skills that you use working on an airplane. And then we actually put you in an experience where we've got airframes that we own and operate. You can, uh, you can work on those aircraft before you ever touch a customer aircraft for the first time. So it really builds that broad range of skills it gives you, again, that confidence and the safety factor. Mm -hmm. And then we can take existing employees through that and redevelop them and add additional skills mm -hmm. to them as their careers continue to develop. So, mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Thank you.